Mr. Speaker, after eight years, it's clear this NDP Liberal government is not worth the cost. In Newfoundland and Labrador, there are 28 bodies in a freezer outside of a hospital because their families can't afford to bury them. This sounds like a Netflix horror movie, but sadly, <laughs> it is the nightmare of this Prime Minister's out of We're not supposed to have Netflix. Conservatives demand him to stop. Stop the outrageous spending and make life affordable. Will they listen and give Canadians the ability to bury their loved ones? The Honourable Minister for Rural Economic Development. Mr. Speaker, we know it's a challenging time for many, many people. That's why we've been there all along, Mr. Speaker. We've been there with the child care benefit. We've been there with the increased OIS and GIS. We're now there with a dental program that's rolling out to help people. We know we have our carbon rebate this year for people. We know it's challenging times. We'll be there for Canadians, and we always will be, Mr. Speaker. The Honourable Member from King Vaughan. The old song is, stop in the name of Canadians, 28 bodies in a freezer because families can't afford to bury their loved ones. Houses have doubled. Food bank usage is higher in history. Well, you know. Families <laughs> Today, the Liberals are announcing their budget. I love this. Some compassion and ensure there's a dollar of savings for every dollar of spending. So Canadians can afford to live. She still got some lungs. Before the Honourable Minister gets up, I'm going to encourage uh, members, please. I, I hear some singing in the House. You know that singing is not permitted in the House. I'll just ask them to please. Very challenging and very upsetting time in their life. They know that this party on this side of the House is there to help them for all many, in many, what many reasons. What the actual we F believe in does she have around her neck? People, which we have been since the very, very beginning, and we will continue to, especially with today's budget later today. Thank Looks you. like my headphones. My string headphones when I put them in my pocket. Mr. Speaker, after eight years, this Liberal government okay. is not worth the cost. We've had eight years of skyrocketing deficits and debt. Deficits. And this government has never controlled its spending. It's the perfect storm that generates inflation. <laughs> and as a result, People in the chat say you're not allowed to sing. <laughs> it's now cheaper for people to live in motels oh. than in an apartment. At a bare minimum, during the budget later, will this government present a plan to control spending? The Honourable Minister of Public Services and Procurement. Six, Mr. Speaker. Six is the number of affordable housing units that the leader of the Conservative Party had built when he was Minister of Housing for the entire country during his entire term. Quebec municipalities are building 8,000 housing units with the help of the federal government if you divide that by six, it's about 1,200 times more. And yet, the leader of the Conservative Party is insulting Quebec municipalities. He's calling them incompetent. Who's really incompetent here? The Conservative leader with his six housing units or Quebec municipalities with 8,000? The Honourable Member for Louis Saint-Laurent. Mr. Speaker, this member from Quebec seems to have fun with numbers these days. Well, I have a number for him. 750. Arrive can cost seven hundred and fifty dollars times more. And who was president of the Treasury Board at that time? The member across the way. And then after that he was Minister of Health. And now he's Minister of Procurement. So it's a real hat trick of incompetence. Does he think it's insulting to have spent seven hundred and fifty times more when it was his responsibility to ensure that things were done right? <laughs> The Honourable Minister of Public Services and Procurement. Insulting is indeed the key word here. Insulting Quebec municipalities by calling them incompetent. They are building 8,000 affordable housing units with the federal and Quebec governments. Meanwhile, the insulting leader of the Conservative Party only managed to build six housing units, affordable housing units, throughout his entire term, throughout the entire country. There Great, give him another shot. In my colleague for Louis Saint-Laurent's writing alone, 